Hello YouTube and hello viewers and welcome back to yet another episode with me Weza. I take you for all these Unreal Engine 4 tutorials and we're going to be moving straight onto our 2D fighting game and this is obviously one of the things that was requested by a lot of you of the community and obviously I didn't finish it because I decided to leave YouTube for a little bit so we're going to jump straight back into creating that series. Uh, this actual episode is going to be covering quite a lot of aspect uh, very quickly so hopefully you can keep up if you do get a little bit confused you can look at the previous ones with the with the 2d fighting scene uh, with the there are other videos there that you can look at individually but i want to try and catch up as quick as i can on less amount of videos because obviously i'm going to make a new playlist for this one and i don't want to take it step by step like i did in the previous video so we are going to be making this uh, 2d side scrolling uh, fighter game uh, obviously, it's not going to be a, a platform, so we're not going to make a, a 2D platformer. It's actually going to be a fighter game, but we are going to use this template, which is the 2D side scroller template. We'll keep it for desktop, maximum quantity, uh, quality, I mean, uh, start content, yes. And I'm just going to call this 2D fighting. In this instance, uh, we can't have that actually. Uh, just do it like that 2D fighting. So, whilst that is creating the project, obviously, we covered quite a lot of this in the previous episode that we had. So this, as I say, this one's going to be pretty quick. Uh, this one's going to be all about bringing in sprites, uh, how to add the animation to the sprites. And we're also going to just plonk the camera in the scene so we can sort of understand how we're going to set uh, our environment for the future videos to come. If I can bring your attention just quickly, obviously I've got, um, I've set up this Patreon page for anyone that would like to support the channel. It's Patreon, oops, that's disappeared. Uh, Patreon, why is it up? If you would like to help out the channel, you're more than welcome to jump onto that. Don't forget, I'm also on Twitter. Um, so if you want to follow me on Twitter, that'd be great. Um, that way we can communicate a lot more easier. And then obviously my channel, I don't need to go into depth with that. So yeah, plug, plug in finished. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to set up our scene just for our future videos. And it's going to be, as I said, it's going to be really fast. This All the files that um, I'll be using, I will supply in the description below. So if you read the description below, there'll be a link to the files that I'm using. So you can follow through with those files. I've already edit, edited them, done ex everything that you need to do with the files. So that way it saves you time and you can follow through with the tutorial. So the first thing I like doing is just making sure this is a nice and neat. Those people, those people that have been watching my videos will know I like having things nice and neat. And I'm just going to create a new folder in this instance. And I'm going to call this sprites. Um, which is just going to hold our sprites, to be honest. And what we're going to be looking at is we're going to be pretty much focusing on sort of like a Street Fighter theme, uh, only because a lot of people know what Street Fighter is, and it's a lot more easier to um, use those sprites. So there's very, very old school sprites. It's just, a, as I say, it's, it's a lot more easy to use and a lot e easier to manage. But first things first is we just want to get rid of this camera off this 2D side scroller character. We are going to do a lot of work with this character, but at the moment, we're just going to edit it a little bit more. So if we just edit the blueprint, that way we can get inside to the actual character. This is going to change. If For those people that watched my previous videos, you'll notice that I did change this. Um, but we're not actually going to do that in this episode. All we're going to do in this episode is we're actually going to delete this camera out. And we're also going to delete the boom. We're going to get both of them. Now, once you compile and save, if you play that map, it's going to look really weird. It's going to be to the angle. And I'll explain why that is later on so uh, actually in the next few videos but we don't need to really need to worry about that just yet so as you can see we've obviously just got our template still I'm still a bit rusty with navigation sorry it's been a long time since I've used Unreal and just trying to navigate is becoming a, a little bit of a problem so we're gonna quickly throw some sprites in as I say I've supplied all the content for you so you don't need to go looking for it it'll just be in a link below and we're just gonna separate them into two folders we're going to have Ryu and Ken. So those people that know, know what Street Fighter is, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. So we have those two. And we're going to add some new folders into there. One's going to be called Sheets. And we're going to add another one inside Ken. And we're going to call this one Animations. And we're going to do exactly the same in Ryu. So we're going to add a new folder, Animation. And we're also going to add one called Sheets. Oops, uh, wasn't meant to do that. Let me rename these. Yeah. So we, oh, 
see raw footage. This is what happens when you do real, raw footage videos, you make mistakes. So we're gonna have animations and sheets. So these sheets are gonna uh, pretty much have what we're gonna use for the tutorial. So these are gonna be like walking, idle, you know, those types of animations. All of them will be in there. And then we're gonna set up the animations today um, for this tutorial. So we're pretty much gonna get everything we need so we can start working with our fighting scene. And then obviously we move on to camera and then we move on to controls and you know the list will just keep going on in this example. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull in some sheets and we're going to pull in the Ken sheet. So we're going to import. Now I have set some of these up already. Um, if I remember correctly, they will be in this folder. Definitely not that folder. Um, where did I put them? I lost them. Do, 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 do. Oh, that's right. I put them in the location for, for you guys to download. That's why I can't find them. So we're going to start with uh, doing Ken. So we're going to select all the Ken images. And we're going to open them up. And it will bring them all into Unreal. And remember, with anything with Paper 2D, we're going to obviously apply Paper 2D texture settings. Uh, so that way we have transparency on the background and it cleans it up a little bit more with channels. And what we're going to do then is we're just going to, whilst they're all selected, it doesn't really matter because they're already formatted and I've already changed them the way how they should be. We're going to extract those sprites. And so the first one you can see is the Ken walking one. You'll notice it extracts quite nicely because each one's independent. So we can extract that. We've got one for punching, one for jumping, one for idle, one for crouching, and that's it for now. We, uh, there will be more in the tutorials, uh, but for now, these are the basic ones that we need for the 2D fighter. So you can see there's a bit of a mess here. Um, the blank ones, we can just select and delete them because we don't need them. So we can actually take those out. Uh, that's another one. We can actually get rid of that one. I'm not too sure why it brings an empty space like that. If anyone in the comments knows why it does that, even though it looked like it imported the right stuff, for some reason it brings in some extras. So what we're going to do is we're going to set these up to be animations. Very, very easy. We select the first two. So I've already named them for you. So you can see they're called Ken Crouch. Um, and that's Sprite 0 and Sprite 1. All you have to do is select the two of them. Create the flipbook. And it's sort of going to be called Ken Crouch, as you can see. And you can see it does its animation. At the moment, it's really, really fast because it's set to 15 frames per second. Obviously, if we set it to 60, that's kind of bizarre. Um, that will give anyone a fit. So I'm going to actually set mine to 4 just so it looks like a nice animation for the style that we're working at at the moment. And that's just crouching. We then do the next ones. So if we have a look at idle, we've got these idle animations here. So again, we're just going to create a flipbook and make sure it's idle. And we're just going to change that to 4 frames. Save and close. And then we do the same for jumping. But in this jumping one, we don't want the first one, so the 0, nor the seventh because we already got an idle animation so we don't really need to worry about these positions. So we can actually select those two and remove them because we don't need them. But we do need the jumping animation. So we're going to go from one to six. So we're going to create a flip book. Obviously it's called Ken Jump. Again it's at 15 frames. So we're just going to set that to four. And you can see that's a jumping animation. Um, that's jumping straight up in the air. There are different anim anim animation sets on the sprite sheet itself, um, which I'll also supply um, in the description below if you want to have a look at, sh at the sheets. Um, so there's actually a jump backwards and a jump forwards, but um, in the purpose of the tutorial, we're just going to use this one in this, in this example. So just save that and close that out. So that's Ken jumping. We're going to take punching. So we choose the punching ones. So again, create a flip book. Again, this is very important because a lot of you as far as I got with my tutorials, I didn't get to that point of you know throwing in punching or, or any type of actions with inside the game. So we're going to need that. And then the last one is the walking animation. So if we select that, I'm going to create a flip book. We now have walking as well. So again, we're going to set this to be four frames. And then with all these animations, we're just going to move them into the animations folder. So it's a little bit more easier for us to see. So if we just select all the green ones, so we select all of them. So that's all of them. And we're just going to drag them and move them into the animation. That way, it's nice and easy. And we can see all the animations nice and neatly where we want them to, to be had all. I mean, you don't have to, but it's just easier to put them somewhere nice and neat. 
So we'll do the same with um, Ryu. We haven't got any sheets yet, so we're just going to import it in. Um, so I've also got the Ryu ones. So we're going to open them up, apply paper 2D, and we're going to then extract all those sprites. Extract, 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 extract. And then again, we do the same thing again. So we're just going to turn these into flipbooks. Make sure we set the animation to be four frames. Save. Obviously, we'll have more characters, but in this instance, we're just going to stick with two. Okay, flip book. Set this to four. So you can see it's a very long process of just trying to get your animations up and running. Um, it's even longer when you try and take them out the sprite sheet. It becomes a little bit more yeah, time consuming, as you could say. So remember, I just skipped this one and this one because we didn't need those. That's why I didn't select them when I was making the jump animation. Change that to four. You see very similar um, animations with um, Ryu and Ken. That's why I kind of stuck with those two at the moment because you can see how, how it all works. Um, so again, very similar punching style. Let's punch. Set that to four. And the last one is the walking. Um, if you don't know how to mold select, sorry, if you select the first one, hold shift and then click the last one, that would select all of them. Um, if you want to be very picky, you can hold control and click on each individual one. Um, but uh, you guys should know that if you're coming into this session already. So we're going to make um, obviously a walking animation. And we're going to set that to four frames. It's just a little bit more easier to see. Obviously, you can set it to what you feel comfortable with, but for me, four is okay. It looks a bit sluggish, but um, at least you'll be able to see it working on the screen. So we're going to grab all of our animations, so all of our green ones, I think that's all of them, and we're just going to drag them into animation. We're going to move that, and we should have all the animations currently set for the flipbooks. Now these are animations we're going to be using, uh, all of them, we'll be using every single one of them, and we're all going to be controlled through what is known as enumerations. So when we do button presses, it will trigger something and it will then change uh, depending on, on what we use or what control we use. So if you want to see it working, we can quite simply look at this character. If you look at his sprite at the moment, he's got this idle animation. If we decide to be, okay, let's look at idle. Have we got anything called idle in our... We do, we've got Ken and Ryu. If we open up Ken, you'll notice he's really small. That's because we've set that flip book to be of this size. So if you think about it, he's, he, he, when we imported him, he's quite small um, as a character. Um, if we try to scale him, I'll show you. So if we scale him, you can see that it changes the capsule. Um, and that's something we don't want to happen because we don't want to change the capsule. So there are ways that we can actually change this. If we open up the, the character, so you'll see it's slightly different now um, on the viewport. We've now got the character inside the viewport itself. Sorry, I'm still trying to get used to moving everything around. But if we decide to change the character in this viewport to the, the idle animation, so if we change that to idle, and we use Ken, you'll notice it's quite tiny. Um, but this time I haven't selected the capsule. You can see I'm being very specific on the sprite I want to use. If we change the scale of the sprite to 2 and 2, you'll see it becomes um, pretty much the same size of what that actual character was. So if we compile and save, you can see that is the character size and it's actually within inside the capsule. Obviously, we will work with this capsule uh, to try and there'll be specific ways how we want it to work. For example, body hits, um, when he's kicking, we'll add another capsules. You know, there's loads of different things we can add with this and it gets very complicated how we use these, these components um, for overlapping or collision components. It becomes a very tricky field. But obviously we compile and save. And if we go back, we can see that is now that same height. And I haven't changed anything in this location. And I've just set this to be this flipbook animation here. So we can see that he, he is there. Obviously if I play, nothing happens because we've got no camera. Um, which we'll then move on to in the next episode. So thank you for joining me. It's I know this might be a very rusty first video. I have been away for a while, um, so you'll have to bear with me. But this lesson was really just getting those animation sheets in because we're going to be using them. 
in the next sessions we're going to be looking at creating the camera again um, and how we get it to work when we have player controllers and how we move the camera as if it was like smash bros or you know just when, when you're playing 2d fighting game or any fighting game that is the camera moves depending on where the characters are so either zooms in or zooms out which is a little bit complicated if you i suppose if you want to grab content early i think what i might do on my patreon page is obviously patreons will get videos early whereas um, normal video releases will be every sunday um, so if you want it earlier you'll get you'll be able to see the videos early on patreon obviously if you want to wait till sunday you can wait till sunday to to view the videos um, obviously twitter again i'm just going to mention that again because I'm, I'm trying to keep up with twitter and use it as much as i can please drop us a follow and keep up to date with that information if you need any help or anything like that just obviously give us a shout um, send us a message i'll try and help you as much as i can so i'm very limited with time but I, I can try as much as i can to help you so thank you again for joining me for this session remember these images will be down in the description below um, so everything that we'll be doing will be linked down down below i'll even put in categories like maybe less than one or something if not they'll be in folders and you'll be able to see them again thank you very much it was nice taking for the session and i'll see you in the next one goodbye